Hello. Today we'll be looking at how you can customise Aurelia and Musician. Specifically, how to create your own syllabus. The syllabus feature is very powerful. You can create and save your own levels for any topic, then assign the syllabus to your classes and use the content in any tests or worksheets. How you decide to structure your syllabus is entirely up to you, but here are some ideas that may be worth considering. At a tertiary level, instructors will often have a syllabus for each unit code or semester, and then levels for each week of the course for all the relevant topics. For example, we have created a syllabus called Ear Training 101. In the intervals topic, we have 12 levels, organised by week. Once a syllabus like this has been created, it's very easy for instructors to create weekly worksheets, tests and homework tasks that draw from the syllabus. Within middle and high schools, teachers may choose to create a syllabus that caters for a specific year level, or they may create a level structure that is based around state curriculum content. In this example, we have created a syllabus called CSMTA, Connecticut State Music Teachers Association. We have three levels in our Intel recognition topic. Similarly, we have created a syllabus for our school, George Washington High School Band. Here, we have created just two levels in the Interval Recognition topic. Creating your own syllabus is really easy. In the Control Centre, choose the Syllabus tab. Click on New Syllabus and type in a name. We'll now choose some settings. There are many options for each syllabus. We like to allow teachers to decide what's best for their students. But today, we will only look at the most important options. Firstly, rhythm terminology. You can choose from US style, quarter and half notes, or UK style, minims and crotchets. If you wish, you can choose both. The software then chooses randomly for each question. Secondly, please choose the solfege type. Fixed Do, Movable Do, or Movable Do La, where the tonic in minor is La. We'll now start to add some content to our syllabus by creating levels for various topics. Back in the Control Centre, make sure your new syllabus is selected. Then click the Topics and Levels button. We're going to add a couple of levels to the interval recognition and rhythm dictation topics. We won't add levels to every topic. There are 75 topics across Aurelian Musician. We simply don't have time. It's important to note that creating such a small number of levels is not that unusual. Many teachers only need to add a few custom levels. They use the built-in levels for the bulk of their student work. Firstly, choose your topic. Then click New Level. I'm going to call my level Week 1. I can add a description. And then I click Edit Level. This is where I choose all my content. For week one of intervals, I'll choose perfect fourths, perfect fifths, and unison intervals, ascending only. I'll also have a fixed starting note of middle C. You'll notice that there are many options on these level editing screens. The software is very flexible, making it easy to give your students the most appropriate content. Now I need to create week two for my class. I could click on new level and enter all of my content. However, there is a better way. Instead, I'll copy my week one level, rename it week two, and then edit it. Doing this saves me time. All of my content from the previous week is already there. I simply add my new intervals.
We'll now add a level to Rhythm Dictation, Week 1. The process is the same. Select the topic, click New Level, enter the level name, and then Edit Level. You'll notice that the options in this rhythm topic are very different. In this case, I'm going to choose rhythms in 4-4, using quarter notes and eighth notes, and the rhythms will be two bars long. The default tempo range is fine, but I will include some basic tuplets. If I wanted to use some other time signatures, the note values are all chosen independently, making it easy to create appropriately graded levels. OK, we've now got a custom syllabus with some levels in two topics. On the main screen, students can now choose to practice using our custom syllabus. You'll notice that all the topics that don't have any content are greyed out. This means less distraction for your students. Many teachers don't need to create their own syllabus from scratch. It's quite common for teachers to want to tweak one of the existing syllabuses. We don't allow you to do this. However, we do allow you to copy any of the included syllabuses. Once you have done this, the copied syllabus is yours. You can edit it, add and delete any of the levels. Simply choose the syllabus that you would like to modify, click the Copy Syllabus button, and then rename it appropriately. Now that you have your customised syllabus, there are two important ways that it can be used. Firstly, as the instructor, you can assign it as the default syllabus for any of your classes, allowing your students to practice using your custom levels. Secondly, you can create your own tests and worksheets that use the content from your syllabus. There are other Aurelia and Musician training videos that explain these features in detail. Thanks for watching.